Dear students, today my class is seventh class Max Chapter Four Simple Equations, Exercise Four Point Two. Before going to this class, please subscribe King Classroom. Ah, uh, King Classroom. Please, please subscribe King King Classroom. Now we are we are giving the. Now we will go for the max class, seventh uh, class max chapter four simple equations exercise four point two. Before going to this class, please subscribe King Classroom for max and computer online classes. Now the example. Now we will go for the class the example. Solve three n plus seven is equal to twenty seven. Solution three n plus seven is equal to twenty seven. Three n plus seven minus seven. That is subtract both sides seven. That equals to plus seven minus seven is equals to twenty five minus seven. That equals to three three n is equals to twenty five minus seven is eighty. So now divide both sides with three. That equals to three n by three equals to eighteen by three is equals to n is equal to six. In the way, this chapter expressions will be uh, same like same like this. Okay, example like this. First first. First one, give the first step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. X minus one equals to zero, and X plus one is equals to zero. Like that, H up to H X plus Y plus four equals to minus four. Solution. We use the concepts of simple linear equation to solve the equation given. First, try to reduce the equation by adding and subtracting the number, the same number. And uh, get the value of the variable. So a x minus four equals to zero. Adding one both sides of the equation, we get x minus one plus one equals to zero minus one zero plus one. That is equals to x is equals to one. Second one, x plus one is equals to zero. Subtracting minus one both sides we of the equation, we get. X plus one minus one, that equals to zero minus one. That equals to x is equals to minus one. Third one, C. X minus one equals to five. Adding one both sides of the equation, we get x minus one plus one equals to five plus one. That equals to x is equals to six. So because x will be separated from the Numbers, so that's why we will add both side or subtract both side or divide and multiply. What are we? The constant value will be LHS and RHS will be the number should be the number. So D, x plus five six is equals to two. Subtracting six um, from both sides of the equation, we get. X plus six is minus six is equals to two minus six. That is equals to x is equals to minus four. E y minus four equals to minus seven. Adding both sides, four both sides we, 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 of the equation we get x y minus four plus four equals to minus seven plus four. That is equals to y is equals to minus three. That is equals to y is equals to minus three. Y yeah four y minus four equals to four. Adding four both sides of the equation, we get y minus four plus four equals to four plus four. That equals to y is equals to eight. Hmm? Four plus four is equal to eight. Y plus four equals to four. Subtracting four from both sides, we get the equation y is equals to four minus four. Y y plus four minus four equals to four minus four. That equals to y is equals to zero. H. Y plus four equals to minus four. Subtracting uh, four from both sides of the equation, we get y plus four minus four equals to minus four minus four. That equals to plus four minus four cancel. Minus four minus four equals to minus eight. That is equal to y is equal to minus eight. Second problem. Give the first step you will use to separate. The variable, then solve the equations. Okay. Solution. We use the basic of concepts of simple linear equations of one in one variable to solve the questions given. 
Try to reduce the equation by multiplying or divide both sides and the equation of the equation the same number obtain the value of the variable. First one, a 3l is equal to 42. Divide both sides by um, by 3 we get 3l uh, by 3 is equal to 42 by 3 that is equal to l is equal to 14. B b by 2 is equal to 6. Multiply both sides we by b we get b by 2 into 2 is equal to 6 into 12 that is equal to e is equal to 12 and otherwise another uh, uh, step is there another method is there transpose method lhs move lhs values moves to the rhs if the lhs is multiplied here when it moves to rhs it is divided if the lhs divide then it moves to rhs multiply Okay, C, P by 7 is equal to 4. Multiply the both sides by 7, we get P by 7 into 7 is equal to 4 into 7. That is what P is equal to 28. 4x is equal to 25. Divide both sides by 4, we get 4x by 4 equals to 25 by 4. That equals to x is equal to 25 by 4. E, 8 y is equal to 36. Divide both sides 8 we get 8 by 8 is equal to 36 by 8. So 8 by 8 means y. 36 by 8 means uh, 4 table. 4 table 36 in, in 4 table 36 9 times and 8 to 2 by uh, 2 times. That is equal to y is equal to 9 by 2. F. Z, Z by 3 is equal to 5 by 4. Multiply both sides with 3 by 3 we get z by 3 into 3, 5 by 4 into 3, that is equal to z is equal to, z is equal to 5 into 3, 15 by 4. g, a by 5 is equal to h by 15. Multiply both sides by 5, we get a by, a by 5 into 5 is equal to 7 by 15 into 5. That is equal to a is equal to 7 by 5, that by uh, 3, 7 by 3. Uh, 5 table uh, 3 15 uh, divided with 3 times that is equal to a is equal to 7 by 3 20 t by 20 t equals to minus 10 divide both sides to by 20 we get 20 t by 20 is equals to minus 10 by 20 that is equals to t is equal to minus 1 by 2 and table 1 time 20 2 times that is equal to 1 by 2 Third one, give the steps you will separate the variable and solve the equation. 3n is equals to 2 is equals to 46. 3n minus 2 equals to 46 like that. Solution, we use the basic concept of simple equations, simple linear equations to solve the problem. The first step we use is separate the variable in order to solve the equation. To reduce the equation by adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing both sides of the equation then same number to get the value of the variable a 3n minus 2 is equal to 46 adding to both sides of the equation we get 3n minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 46 plus 2 that is equal to 3n is equal to 48 divide both sides by we get 3n by 3 we get 3n by 3 is equal to 48 by 3 is equal to n is equal to 16 Second one, uh, b, 5m plus 7 is equal to 17. By subtracting 7 both sides of the equation, we get 5m plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 10, 17 minus 7. That is equal to, 5m is equal to 17 minus 7 is equal to 10. Right. Divide both sides by 5, we get 5m by 5 is equal to 10 by 5. That is equal to, m is equal to 10, 5, 2 times so m is equal to 2. 20 p c 20 p by 3 is equal to 4 40. Multiply both sides uh, by 3 we get 20 p by 3 into 3 is equal to 40 into 3. That is equal to 20 p by 120. 20 p is equal to 120. Divide the both sides dividing both sides by 20 we get 20 p by 20 is equal to 120 by 20. That is equal to p is equal to 6. D, 3p by 10 is equal to 6. Multiplying the both sides by 10, we get 
3p by 10 into 10 is equal to 6 by into 10 that is equal to 3p is equal to 60 6 into 10 is equal to 60 divide both sides by the equation by 3 we get 3p by 3 is equal to 60 by 3 that is equal to p is equal to 20 solve the equation equations 10p is equal to 100 10p is equal to 10p plus 10 is equal to 100 so solution we use the basic concepts of simple equations to solve the equations given uh, solve the questions given a yeah, 10p is equal to 100 divide both sides both the sides by 10 we get 10p by 10 is equal to 100 by 10 p is equal to 10 so 10p plus 10 is equal to 100 subtracting 10 from both sides we get 10p plus 10 minus 10 equals to 100 minus 10 that equals to 10p is equal to 90 100 minus 10 is equal to 90 divide both sides the by 10 we get 10p by 10 is equals to 90 by 10 that equals to p is equal to 9 c p by 4 is equal to 5 multiply both sides by 4 we get p by 4 into 4 is equal to 5 into 4 that equal to 4 4 cancel 5 into 4 is equal to 20 p is equal to 20 minus p by 3 is equal to 15 multiply both sides by 3 minus 3 that is equal to minus p by 3 into minus 3 into is equal to 5 into minus 3 that is equal to p is equal to minus 15 e p by 4 is equal to 6 multiply both sides by 4 e, we get uh, we get 3 by 3p three by 4 into 4 is equal to 6 by 4 6 into 4 that is equal to 4 4 cancel 4 6 into 4 is equal to 24 p, 3p is equal to 24 Divide both sides by 3 we get 3p by 3 is equal to 24 by 3 that is equal to p is equal to 8 24 by 3 is equal to 8 3s is equal to minus 9 divide both sides by 3 3s by 3 is equal to minus 3 by 3 minus 9 by 3 that is equal to s is equal to minus 3 by why because minus 9 by 3 3 will be uh, divide 3 times in 9. So, s is equal to minus 3. 3s plus 12 is equal to 0. Subtracting 12 from both sides of the equation we get 3s is equal to 3s plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 minus 12. That is equal to 3s is equal to minus 12. Dividing both sides uh, uh, 3 we get 3s by s, uh, 3s by 3 is equal to minus 12 by 3 that is equal to s is equal to minus 4 h 3s is equal to 0 divide both sides 3 by 3 we get 3s by 3 is equal to 0 by 3 that is equal to s is equal to 0 0 by anything is 0 2q is equal to 6 divide both sides by 2 we get 2q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2 that is equal to 6 by 2 is 3 so q is equal to 3 2q minus 6 is equal to 0. Adding 6 both sides with the equation of the equation, we get 6. 2q minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 plus 6. That is equal to 2q is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2, we get uh, 2q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. That is equal to q is equal to 3. Okay. 2q plus 6 is equal to 0. Subtracting 6 from both sides of the equation we get 2q plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 minus 6. That is equal to 2q is equal to minus 6. Divide both sides by 2. We get 2q by 2 is equal to minus 6 by 2. That is equal to q is equal to minus 3. That L 2q plus 6 is equal to 12. Subtracting 6 from both sides we get 2q plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 12 minus 6. That is equal to 2q is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. We get 2q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. That is equal to q is equal to 3. Hence, with this 4.2 exercise will be completed. Thanks for com watching complete video and learn the subject. 
and share the subject to your friends and try to subscribe them thanking you in classroom is about maths and computer online classes